Friday the 8th of July 2022 and it's day 4 of the holiday, day 3 of the riding the, uh, riding the bikes around Argyle Island and Butte and as you can see it's a uh, drizzly morning again uh, weather forecast was fine for today but uh, yeah it's a drizzly morning but uh, again we're not going to let it uh, dampen our spirits so we're off today to Rothsay I think so we've got a bit of a little bit of a ferry ferry trip over uh, over one of the uh, water expanses five minutes on the ferry I think so it's a very quick one five minutes there five minutes back if we come back on the ferry I'm not sure um, yeah so this is the final day that we're uh, we're riding the bikes around here tomorrow we would load them back up into Paul's van and head uh, and head south and that uh, that wraps this year's first trip up and then three weeks time back up with Kev Hell Buck Mail and Kevin, Brian, Paul and me to do the NC500 NC500 Plus I'm going to call it because we're taking in a few more places and uh, that's, uh, that's in about three weeks time, three weeks on Monday I think that is yes yeah, so we'll have a look around today this looks really nice, beautiful scenery again we're, uh, we're sort of, we're going north at the moment or north, in a northwesterly direction uh, hopefully uh, there'll be some interesting things to capture and for you to see today Fingers crossed that it brightens up a little bit. It's 20 to 10 now. That's plenty of chance for the day to brighten up a bit. Yeah. See how things go. That's the ferry. We're about to board over to Butte. This is Butte over there. Alright. About to board the ferry. Cheers buddy! Welcome to the Isle of Butte Or Butte, I don't know it's an isle It's Butte anyway Right, let's go and get wet journey from the digs over to the ferry port was absolutely miserable absolutely horrible and so we were up in the uh, up in the height and up in the clouds again but terrible but uh, yes I've soaked to the skin but we mustn't let it dampen our spirits Although my socks and my feet are damp and everything else is uh, damp. But uh, let's have a look what the uh, what Butte has in store for us. It's five past eleven. from 
the sea. I think it is, yeah, got a bit of sea. Been confusing locks with the sea for the last uh, three days. What pavilion? Kettle drop. That must be the uh, the route out of the harbour into the sea over there. Stunning. It's picking up a little bit now, hopefully it stays a bit brighter, a bit warmer as well, good for drying out. What a beautiful, beautiful place. Palm trees. <laughs> A climate suitable for palm trees, probably North Atlantic Drift. The Gulf Stream. They will make this quite mild, I imagine. Beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Oh, it's lovely with the sun shining there. The beach there. Since an hour ago, we were two broken men. <laughs> the utter relentless wet that we had coming across. Uh, through the forest and then back down. We were utterly devoid of uh, lost our mojo completely. And then we, well, we carried on. And that's the key. Sometimes you've got to carry on. Push through. And uh, because if you don't, you don't know what you're going to miss. And this is just amazing. Absolutely beautiful.
shut them by. This is lovely, isn't it? I know the meltdown, because you do a couple of wrong turns and it's like, I don't know where we are now, but fucking hell man, it is nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Have a second here, Dave. Yeah, get a couple of pictures here. Pictures of Lily. <laughs> wow. Wow. Beautiful. Wonderful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that down there. Wow. Time is just coming up to quarter past twelve. So uh, it's shaping up thanks to uh, the weather gods who punished us first thing it's shaping us to be a beautiful day and uh, it's uh, matched only by the beautiful scenery as you can see I've got the uh, Insta 361X set up to try and capture some of the uh, some 3D footage of the uh, of today oh I love riding through countryside like this lanes and lovely green tree line lanes wonderful Okay, mate. And the climate changes again, and there's moisture in the air again. It can change within a couple of hundred yards. Incredible. Absolutely incredible.
<laughs> We're just unlucky, aren't we? We're just uh, very unlucky. I'm on the road again. Beautiful, look at that. Holy macaroni. Out of the sunshine and into the cloud. Climate changes as we move. But what a beautiful surf, beautiful view. Unbelievable. The temperature's got much cooler again now. So you do are getting the uh, weather change by the mile. But it's not raining. So I'm taking that as a win every day. Cove over there. And we're 51 miles into today's ride. And it's 25 to 1. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that! It's, uh, it's every time you get to cloud base, isn't it? Had a nice little snack at the calf down there. 
I'll put the name of the place on the screen because I'll have uh, I've already forgotten it. Uh, rain's back. We're off back to the ferry port now. Um, yeah, uh, Jack Potato, Paul of the Panini with two cups of tea. Fifteen pounds something, very nice. Build a gap until we have a dinner this evening. But, uh, yeah, very very pleasant. So we're 61 miles in, and uh, I think it's eight miles back to the ferry port where we're going to cross and then go and have a go and have a look around on the uh, back on the uh, the mainland. So we've seen most of uh, Butte, or well, the coast of it anyway. There's a crossing land run now. There's, there's, only in, uh, there's no rain, you know, 100 yards from where we were, from the calf we were in, and the rain started. Go figure. Go figure. Well, I've decided for the, uh, the Enfield, I want to put far end mirrors on it. But over enamoured with these uh, Mickey Mouse ear mirrors, and they're not brilliant from a visual point of view. So I think I'm going to swap them off for some bar ends. That'll be another little modification I've done. And here's the sea again. So hopefully, the footage I've got today, ah, past this earlier, takes us pretty much around the, uh, completely around the island of Butte. Yeah, came the other way here this morning. So you've, you've come on, if you've watched this, uh, I don't know, depends on how I edit it. So you may well have watched the, uh, the whole circuit around the island. If you watch the video. And a few little offshoots along the way. Let's see the other side over the uh, over the sea there. Whether the camera's picking it up with a visit. Ah, should be fine. Should be able to see that. You can see the sun shining over there. Russia, mile away, and the sun's shining. Yeah, yeah, it's bleak. <laughs> Again. Pretty windy as well. So that's, there you go, sun's out. I don't give you an idea for the weather here, I don't know what else will. Oh, we met the, met the young couple that we met yesterday again. It's sort of a shadow of a small world it can be. Uh, the ones we met at the calf, the castle, uh, yesterday afternoon they uh, stopped to have a chat. They'd uh, seen, the, seen the Enfields and stopped for a chat and uh, sure enough when we got to the calf that we've just left, there they were again. And, uh, they're from Leicester and turns out the guy was originally from Birmingham, great bar. So uh, yeah, nice to, uh, nice to stop and chat with people as we, uh, as we travel around. And uh, that's shows what a small world it is when you bump into them again the next day. A very nice young couple. Well, I say young, probably in their thirties, late thirties. But that's young to me now. Time's it now. Half past two. 
I think I expect that to be about three o'clock that we get that to go back. Next sign in fourteen twenty. Ah, yeah, we are. On the ferry to Rubber Duck. Or, oh, should I say the correct name? Rubber Duck. Rubber Duck, whatever it's called. But uh, Rubber Duck sounds better. of things. Cheers buddy, and we're back. <laughs> 